been having a little bit of a tidy up in the garden. Uh, removed um, a few of the um, runner beans and kept uh, some of the ones at the back there. So I've got about another five or six growing, uh, which will give me enough runner beans uh, until the end of the season. The other ones have um, removed and made just start to make um, the structure for next year. So I've got um, down there a little wigwam, which is quite small, and then. Attached to the wigwam is a piece of green string. You'll maybe just be able to see it. See it. It goes right to the top of that pole, and then on the bottom, there's uh, one, two other strings going up to the top of the pole. And I can pl uh, so they're for runner beans, so you can get one, two, three, four, five runner beans there. If I plant one where the strawberry thing is, that's six runner beans, and then I've got these poles on the side. About uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven runner beans in that small space there. So that's about what? One metre square, eleven runner beans gonna be growing. Plus I can grow stuff underneath there. And before it's runner bean season, I'll be growing um raw beans and then probably a courgette there and there and then the runner beans around it as well. And by the time the courgettes get to a fair size, um I'll be planting out the runner beans probably slightly after. And when they start to block off the light I would have had most of my crop off the cause yet anyway, so it's going to work out quite well.